Our nation's Pledge of Allegiance promises justice for all, but is America living up to that pledge? The concept of justice will be featured over the next several months in special lectures at the College of St. Scholastica. The school's Allworth Center for the Study of Peace and Justice has planned this series, and joining us with more is Dr. Tom Morgan, director at Scholastica's Allworth Center. And Tom, thank you so much for coming in tonight. And thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Uh, when you hear that phrase, justice for all, what thoughts go through your head? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I haven't heard it in a while, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if, if we still say that in school. Maybe they do. Um, mm. But I've become, in the last few years, I've felt that as a nation we are not living up to that commitment. Mm -hmm. In what ways? Um, well, if you look at uh, the prison population, I don't have the numbers in my head, but there's a heavy preponderance of minorities in prison, mm -hmm. um, and it's well beyond the percentage of minorities in our population. So are we treating everyone the same? Uh, most criminal prosecutions are settled out of court. Uh, last time I looked, it was about almost 90 percent of, of uh, prosecutions are settled by deal making, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so you don't really get to tell your story to the judge and the jury. And this brings us to what you are standing for in the, the Center for Peace and Justice. What is the center? Well, it's, um, it's a fancy way of saying a lecture series, really. <laughs> Although we do other things as well besides the lecture series. I mean, I run a program, an academic program, uh, where students study these things in more depth and we have a degree in peace and justice studies at St. Scholastica. What are you trying to accomplish through these these lecture series? Uh, to get people thinking and talking and wondering. Uh, it's as simple as that. Um, we don't have an agenda. The, the center does not have an agenda and we don't uh, agitate for any particular point of view, but uh, it's to have a community of of learners mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the so, general public. So this year, the, the title of the series is And Justice for All. I, yeah, I probably should have put a question mark there. <laughs> 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 Who chooses the theme and the speakers that, that fill in the slots? It's mostly me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what I try to do uh, is think of topics that, um, that people are wondering about, that, uh, that deal with public policy issues, that deal with peace and justice issues, and I try to alternate uh, looking at a kind of domestic issue, something that concerns mostly the United States, or an international or global issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So talk about some of the specific um, lectures that will be in this year's series and what you hope people will get out well, of Well, the very first one is coming up this Thursday. It's a professor of philosophy from Tufts University. Her name is Erin Kelly. She's written a book that came out uh, just a few months ago, The Limits of Blame. She makes the distinction between blame and guilt mm -hmm. and believes that our criminal justice system doesn't adequately take that into account. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's our leadoff hitter. And uh, following that, in November, we have another Kelly. This guy is a criminologist from the University of Texas, no relation, and he's written several books. Uh, in, that in his mind the criminal justice system in the United States needs reforming as well as the penal system. Then after the holiday break um, we'll have Laura Bazelin who is a professor of law uh, from San Diego and uh, excuse me San Francisco and um, She's terribly interested in the application of restorative justice mm -hmm. to the criminal justice system. Tom, you've been doing this for 30 years. I Are have. we making progress? Am I making progress? Are we making progress as a nation as a whole? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you ask really hard <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I think we're making progress in some areas and we're going backwards in others. I mean, that's just too, too tough a question to respond in a sentence or two. I, I could imagine where we're making some progress mm -hmm. in certain areas. Uh, I think we are making progress in some areas of civil rights and, and gender issues, but there are other areas where I personally think 
uh, that we're going backwards. Mm -hmm. Do these lectures tend to draw pretty broad audiences from the community, or is it mostly from the campus community? It's about 50-50. Uh -huh. We get a lot of people coming from the community uh, to these lectures, and in particular this one, I'm very pleased to see a uh, positive response from the criminal justice community in Duluth. Lots of judges and attorneys uh, have told me they're coming. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to believe this is an issue that, that they're thinking about as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there tickets available for no. people, or how, how do no. people just go if up, they want come to? Come on <laughs> in. Yeah, the, the hall holds about 600 people, a little less than 600 people, and sometimes we fill it. And uh, if it's too, it, you know, if, it, if we have more than that, we have a little overflow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. put Tom, one of the questions you ask on your website is, is justice in America available to everyone in equitable portions? That's a great question. Yeah, is it, it is. Let, let me answer you, if, if there was a question there, let me answer you by talking about the very last one we have. And that's uh, a man by the name of Anthony Ray Hinton who was from Alabama, more than 30 years ago, he was arrested and convicted on a double murder and sent to prison. He sat on death row for 28 years. Um, his case was eventually brought to the United States Supreme Court. And in 2015, the United States Supreme Court ruled that uh, nine to nothing, that he was innocent mm -hmm. and he walked out. Wow. He will be speaking at St. Scholastica, that. but there are a lot of people I'm discovering in his situation. Mm -hmm. uh, mistakes well, in justice. I hate to cut you short, but we are out of time. If people are interested in finding out more, I imagine it's on the website. We have a website. And uh, yes. good luck bringing Thank people you. in Thank and you having, for having these important me. All the best. conversations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.